Hello traders, Yolanda here with ExtraordinaryTrading.com with video number one of my new price action trading series. Now guys, I have received a lot of requests from people asking me to either create a price action trading course or to create a YouTube video explaining how to trade using price action. Now a YouTube video would be too lengthy. That video could go on for hours. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a series of videos where in each video I'm going to show you a different price action trading strategy, okay? So first up is going to be the shooting star. The shooting star is one of my favorite price action trade setups and it's newbie friendly because it's very easy to spot, okay? Now a shooting star is a bearish reversal pattern that is identified at the end of an uptrend or at least we believe that the uptrend has come to an end, okay? Now on my screen, I've got the eight hour chart of the Euro USD and we have an uptrend on this chart where price has made a series of higher highs, right? And higher lows. So I'm actually going to zoom in so that you all can see the price action better. All right, so essentially, and this is the shooting star right here. So essentially what we had was price made a strong move to the upside. And then on this candle, price opened here. It shot all the way up here, but then it lost steam and closed down below this level of resistance. So a shooting star has a large upper wick and a small body. So this green portion is the body of the candlestick. Now here's what makes this particular shooting star setup very powerful. It was formed at an area of resistance. I actually put this area of resistance on my chart two nights ago, okay? So this is worthy of paying attention to. Now, a few ways in which you can enter a shooting star trade setup. Now again, this is a bearish reversal pattern. So you would be looking to go short after this setup is formed. Now you could simply wait until price breaks the low of the shooting star. And I'm actually going to draw a horizontal line here to show you where you would enter. So you would go short here at the low of the shooting star and place your stop loss above the highs of the shooting star. The other option would be to enter short <clears throat> when price comes back and retests the area of resistance, okay? Again, you place your stop loss above the high of the shooting star. And then the third option would be to simply wait until price trades through about roughly halfway through the shooting star. Now, obviously the first option is the more likely of the three because there's a pretty good chance that price is going to trade lower than the shooting star, but we don't know definitively if price is going to come back and retest the area of resistance or if it's going to trade through the halfway mark of the shooting star, right? So it's up to you as to where you would want to enter the trade. Now keep in mind that when it comes to trading, nothing works all of the time. If it did, we would all be trillionaires, okay? And also, identify your risk and manage your risk for each and every trade. So guys, if you know of others who would benefit from my content, uh, please click the share button. And as always, happy trading.